Okay, I've just arrived now at the uh, draw at the uh, at the pub. Just going in, see the boys. Hello, boys. <laughs> right. You okay? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, cheers, mate. Okay, everyone. Um, welcome to the 2018 Riverwide Charity Shield. Um, we said last year that we wanted to expand this match a little bit and get it back to what it was. This was always one of the traditional big Y titles that people wanted to win. Uh, and we have, we've got 72 fishing today, and that's on a day when there's other big matches as a Riverfest qualifier and things like that. So um, so thank you for your support. Uh, we changed it. We've upped the, we've upped the entry, we've upped the pools. I did wonder whether we were asking a bit much, us taking too much charity money out. Um, which is why we've added in a raffle, which we're going to do after the match in the skit lally. Uh, all the peg numbers will go back in a hat, and there'll be a, a raffle. It's not massive, but it will give you gives everyone a little bit of something back, a bit of fun as well. Um, so the peg money from this has always been donated to a local charity, uh, and that's great, and that will continue. But what I felt was that because you want to get everyone engaged with it, I think it's better if, if there's some charity money going to something that maybe benefits or affects us all. Um, there's lots of different charities out there, um, but trying to find something that sort of uh, fits in with everyone and that. So this year we've just said the extra money that we've, we've generated will go to the Midland Air Ambulance, which is, a, you know, a, 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 a shouldn't have to be a charity, I suppose, but it is. Um, and I've been in, I've been on matches where it's been needed, so um, so that will be where it goes this year. Um, pegging, we've pegged it all round. Um, there's only a little bit on Belmont. The peg numbers, when you draw, will mean nothing because we put. The <laughs> <laughs> Just go where you want. <laughs> we, like, we like to keep you guessing. Um, yeah, there's no basically there's no sequence to the numbers, so you'll have to when you draw. Take your peg number around to the pool table and the boards are there, it'll tell you where you are. Um, on the board is marked scales and board, okay? If you if you draw the scales, take the scales. If you draw the board, take the board. Don't take both. Hang on, let me see. Can the people who draw the scales and the board wait there so that you're both together? Because there's five peg people haven't turned up, so there's a possibility scales or board won't get taken. Mm. And then once everyone's drawn, we can work out what it is from what's left. All right, so make sure you wait by the scales. And, and that's why I ask when you draw, if you just go straight to the pool table and just record your draw and then worry about where it is, come and see me, ask what, where it is or what I do and that sort of thing. Don't hang around here a minute, just go and get them on the board and then the person who's on the board doesn't have to wait for everyone to sign on there. Okay, we're gonna fish 11 till four. Um, we, there are some long walks, we wanna get you going, um, but I don't want to, I didn't want it to drag on too much later on because you've got to get home, we wanna do the raffle. Um, and I say, we don't wanna, you know, we wanna get going. So we'll fish 11 till four. All the parking, there is a parking sheet now on the window. I didn't realise everyone took the parking sheets. Um, there's one on the window over there showing where the sections are, where to park, postcodes, etc. So um, it's spread out. It's basically through Brainton, top end of Belmont, Belmont to the rugby club, nothing in the in the 80s, 90s, 50s, 60s, tennis court, Barsham, Ein, Field Farm. Um, there's some good walks, so I, as I said to you all in the week, just lighting down your kids and what have you. Um, but take your time, and um, it's one of those ones you could be walking to hundred pound of chub, or you could be walking to a blank. But that's, that's <laughs> the way to your right. Okay, so at the end, as I say, we you know this this we really want this match to become a real sort of you know a firm date in everyone's calendar. So we've got now Y Champs is always last weekend of October. We're hoping this will stay as that last weekend of September. This is the Joe Burrows Charity Shield. Okay, Joe was a local guy. Uh, well, he wasn't a local. He was from Birmingham, but he moved here, spent a lot of time. On this river a lot of time helping people like myself and everyone else. so that's the the spirit of this competition and whoever wins today will walk away with this shield <laughs> good luck everyone any questions no good go on with your draw then <laughs> okay oh. i'll tell you where i am Bottom end of Field Farm, peg 140. Uh, what a walk. I'm the last one to arrive at the peg. Well, I haven't even re uh, reached the peg yet. <laughs> I've still got another oh, quarter of a mile to go here. Um, and apparently, I'm just below the, the favourite pegs, which is like 135 uh, down to 138. Um, 
but uh, they were telling me that the peg that I'm fishing they don't normally put in so who knows <laughs> um, I just had a quick look it's a, it's a bit wild down there looks like I'll have to sort of uh, wade out in the water a little bit but uh, anyway who knows but I thought I'd just give you a quick insight <laughs> there's a, a field full of turnips I'm trying to uh, manoeuvre and get through that lot <laughs> it was a job and a half anyway let's get down to my peg Well, this is a problem I got <laughs> pushing through the field with turnips all the bloody time, stopping me. Oh, will I ever get to my peg? I've got half hour to get to it before the match starts. God, a nightmare. Whew. I've got to go all the way down to that fence yet. Whew. Okay, I've arrived. Sweat dripping off me. Uh, I've got about half hour to tackle up. Uh, what makes it worse is that. Uh, my, uh, the path is about 20 yards away from the river, so I've got to, and I've got to go over obstacles and ditches to get you. Uh, here's my tackle look. That's part of it. That's part of it. I've still got to go in my box and my platform. But uh, hey, look at this. I get Mr. Crabtree water. Yeah, peg 39 above me hasn't been drawn, so it's given me a little bit of advantage, if you like. But my first impression is I'm on the runoff, which. Um, can either produce or not. Um, generally, uh, I would have liked to have been a bit further up because that's where the better pegs are. That's why they call the gas pipes above me, um, which would be about 138, 139, 139, I think. Anyway, let's go and get the rest of my tackle and I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> yeah, just showing you, it's like a glen. <laughs> so I'm through there, the river's down there somewhere, and I'm all the way up here. Obstacles, look, oh, God. I suppose really the Y is really meant for like specimen anglers that go along with just one rod and a net. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, it's my box and my stand that I need to get down there. Oh, I hope it stays dry. <laughs>
Well, it's gone a bit. It's gone a bit quiet on the waggler, so I'm just gone on the feeder. Um, I've had two wraps, and I've um, and I just had one barbel, so I'm on the uh, thirty-five gram uh, flat block end feeder. I'm getting a couple of knocks off dace, so I've just had a dace on it as well. So I've just uh, tried a bunch of casters and uh, I had a, a knock on that. A few leaves hitting the line. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> right. Well, uh, match is finished. I um, the story of the match for me. I went out on the bread, the first chuck, hooked something, went off like a train. I think it was, I think it was a foul hooked barbel. Um, anyway, I tried the bread for the first half hour, nothing. Switched the maggot and a string of dace. The dace went off, uh, so I thought I'd put the feeder out. I've lost two barbel <laughs> and landed two. Oh, and then they, they died. Then, last hour, I'd gone on the bread again. <laughs> and I've had a few on the bread. Oh, so again, it's a match of uh, lost fish again. I suppose it happens to everyone. Um, Pete Pembridge came down. He said uh, they they caught above. So uh, we'll have to see what um, what we got now. So anyway, um, I'll do the way in now. Um, right, okay, so um, I sort of touched earlier, but thank you, thank you all for coming and supporting this. We've done um, the charity money bag fee split, as I said. It's always traditionally gone, the, the peg fee has gone to a local charity, and, and that continues, um, but we don't have any control of that. The, the, the club put it where they want, and uh, you know, if I'm going to run matches and Darren's the same, I want to have a say in where that money goes, and I think to get everyone on board and get everyone you know, sort of get some real support. It's got to be something that means something to all of us. And I think the air ambulance is something that, that you know, hopefully we don't need, but it's there if we ever do need it. The sort of thing we do, like today, in the middle of nowhere, um, things can go wrong. And um, if you if, if you just see Richard Candy puffing on his way up to Peg Ten, you know you're on the way. <laughs> but anyway. Um, so basically, so there's 360 quid has gone to a local charity there, 360 quid, 365 because someone gave me a fiver, uh, will go to the air ambulance. I've got a contact and that will be handed over this week uh, and we'll put that. So well done all of you, That's, you've all done that, so well done. So obviously that money has come out of the pool, you know, out of your entrance fee, so to, uh, just to sort of a way to give a little bit back, we'll have a raffle. Now, we've got some prizes, now the rules... Of my raffle is if you're in here, you ain't getting a prize. Okay? <laughs> cool. So, in here is every peg number in the match today, except for Burritis. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> now, I've got, the, I've got the boards, we've got the boards ready, alright? So, we're just going to think. So, we'll, what we'll do is we'll pick a prize and then we'll, um, uh, yeah, and then we'll, we'll, we'll draw for that prize. So, uh, we'll start off with a decent one. It's sections. Take one to five tennis courts with thirty-two pounds. Stew up. He's no you, Rob. Put it up. Oh, you are. You keep it. You keep it. Keep on. Yeah, too. No, fuck off. You keep it. 
I'll spend it. Fuck him. I will, I will, I will just say to him because he, he's I'll not here. I'll call him now. Sorry, Stu. I'll put it behind the back. Because he's not here. I will just say, Stu gave me a five this morning just out of it to, 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 to the charity. I, was like, I got shit. No, you should rich bastard. No, no, no. no you hey. guys, I've got a lot of time to do anything. Yeah. This that's fine. He that's wanted to play. Maybe. I'm going to fucking wrap that round. <laughs> right. Um, right. 96 to 100 on Bartlesham with £35. Dave Webb. Oh, well done, David. Thank you, Tony. Okay, <laughs> pegs 101 to 105, Bart Shum with £32, 11 ounces, Steve Rowan. Well done, Steve. Thank you. 106 to 110 on Bart Shum with a weight of £19, 10 ounces, Steve Jeffries. Well done, Steve. <laughs> Grab it for him, Bob. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> Back to King Tony Double. Yeah, I think uh, that's sick. 111 to 115. Rich Line with a weight of 27 pound 10. Brian Rigby. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Yes, yes. 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 I'm with a weight of fifteen pound two is Chris Smith. He's already gone, hasn't he? Yeah, he's gone. Put it behind the bar. If Chris is like that, he put it behind the bar. Oh, take Chris. He's going to be pairing up with him on the. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, 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 fucking save it on the way home. That'll be gone. You oh, taking no, that sheet of pie? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, hundred and twenty-one to hundred and twenty-five. I'm with twenty-one pound twelve is Dave Williams. Yeah. Well done, mate. Yeah. <laughs> 126 to 130 at Field Farm with 2814 was Carl Biddle. He's gone, isn't he? Yeah. Grab that, Bob. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. 131 to 135 Field Farm with 35 pound 10 ounces, Nigel Evans. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Hundred thirty-six to hundred and forty uh, from Field Farm with a weight of forty-five pound fourteen ounces. What's his name? <laughs> Tony Burr. <Whoa. laughs> hey. 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 Even the fucking, even the bastard blind squirrel is finding odd in that sun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done, Tony. <laughs> uh, hundred and forty-one to hundred and forty-five, which is Brainton. Uh, with 12 12 was Clive Roberts. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. 151 to 155 at Brainton with a weight of 19 pound 8 ounces is Lee Edwards. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 16 to 24, which is popping a Belmont with a weight of 31 pound dead is Kevin Ellaby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Final section. Mm -hmm. Uh, 38 to 52 on Belmont with a weight of 24 pound 8 ounces was Alex Graham. Uh, 100. So, on to the overall, uh, fourth overall from Bartram 110, uh, Peg 110 with 48 pound 8 ounces. Winning a sheet of ply. <laughs> <laughs> Darren Harper. Yeah. 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 Any cunt are you? <laughs> you can't get fucking money up there. <laughs> Third, uh, from peg 38 on Belmont with a weight of £49.4 four ounces. Van Antille. I can have Yes. Van Antille. <laughs> <laughs> Right, your runner up today from peg 142 at Brainton with a weight of 52 pounds 4 ounces is Jamie Robbins. Well done, Jamie. Yeah. 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 Well done, Jamie. Well done, Jamie. Well done, Jamie. Well done, Jamie. And your winner today 
uh, from peg 149 at Brayton with a weight of 53 pounds 4 ounces winning the Joe Burrows Trophy and the River Y Charity match 2018 is Jeff Bryant. Well done, <laughs> Do you want a sheet of fly, Jeff? <laughs> <laughs>